New at 10, a man is out of the hospital and recovering after he says his ex-girlfriend tried to kill him. Here's the deal. It is a miracle he survived because he says she shot him several times, firing until she ran out of bullets. Tonight, he's still worried because his ex just posted bond. Anayeli Ruiz joins us live now. And Anayeli, the victim is worried she'll come after him again. That's right, Elvis Munoz is still recovering from surgeries to his hands, intestines, and lungs. And now he says his worries obviously are not just concerned about him, but those around him. So it's a little hard. So. Elvis Munoz is sharing his story, revealing the wounds he says his ex-girlfriend Alexis Pinto left behind when she shot him. He says she tried to kill him. I mean, to take care of somebody in those is so much for three years and for them to pay you with bullets <laughs> try to take your life he says he didn't realize it at first but he was in an abusive relationship Munoz says his girlfriend was jealous controlling and isolated him from his loved ones it all came to a head on September 5th when she took him to a wooded area near 288 and Airport Boulevard supposedly to watch the sunset Instead, she allegedly opened fire. That's when I felt my left hand get hit. Like I just felt my hand get hot. And I was running, holding my chest and stomach. He says she aimed the gun directly at his face. Fortunately, he moved just in time and the bullet grazed him. I just threw my hand like this oh, okay. and I moved my head and it went in. After emptying her gun, Elvis Munoz says he convinced Alexis Pinto to get help. She called her father and drove him to a gas station where help finally arrived. Multiple surgeries later, Elvis, once a mechanic, is now disabled with limited movement in his hands. I took several shots. I fought for my life for hours. But just yesterday, the same day he was getting a bullet removed from his back, Alexis's bond was reduced from $75,000 to $10,000. He's now scared, not just for himself, but for the family that is caring for him. I am furious that the system is not doing their part because someone stated that she has a mental illness. Now Alexis Espinto is out on bond and Elvis Munoz says he's living in fear. She might want to come back and do something. Again, Alexis Pinto has uh, been released uh, from jail. She has to follow several bond conditions, including wearing an ankle monitor. All the praises and the honor goes to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and the bishops so of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren. All you fellow believers of the truth, your other elders and brethren, Shalom. Also to you brothers and sisters, supporters of this faith, and Shalom to the elect. So now we can see, without a shadow of a doubt, they've always been able to sweep it under the rug some kind of way. We all seen it. But now people see that um, when you look at the comments in this video, people are plenty pissed. A lot of Jakes uh, waking up to the wickedness and how the system supports the woman help the woman as the scriptures say okay so now we can see that Eve has been has been funded Eve has uh, had a lot of help right and her maniacal behavior so it looks like I have a few scriptures lined up but I just wanted to you know speak on that real quick how the system supports Eve and the destruction of Jake and this is how they do it and then you men that see a woman that looks manly like this and you put all that makeup on and look like she's trying to flip different sexes or whatever it's probably a good idea to stay away from those uh, these kind of women now they don't have to look like this so it's not impartial but you know you got to take make better choices and right now we speak to the men that's in the truth. These situations, man, you know, let me get a scripture real quick and I'll get back to what I was saying. Isaiah 10 and 1, we all know this. 
woe to them to make unjust laws. And uh, this is the NIV, but the other translations say unrighteous decrees. To those who, are, who issue oppressive decrees. Now I remember mm, many years back, I got an argument with my son's mother. She pulled a butcher knife out on me before. I remember one that a while ago, or was it the time when she hit me with a lamp and my leg was bleeding and the police came and saw me bleeding and went to her and asked, was she okay? So they used the domestic violence that was, you know, happening in the homes because of the oppression of men who were abusing their wives, right? We're not going to say that wasn't the case, but it was always a taboo to um, stand up against a woman who's doing this to you. A lot of men never reported it, right? But I tried one time to make the call and they sent one police call, right? But when she makes the call, it's 30 calls. Like we some, like we Lord Zod from, right? From planet Krypton. This is what they do. So the attack is on you, Jake. When I say Jake, you men, you mainly black, Hispanics, Native Americans, you foreigners, you know, the ones that look like other nations possibly, you know, you know, really all men, that, that's the attack. And this is why you see the infeminization or the emasculation of men. This is a good portion of that, right? This is Habakkuk 1 and 4. It says, therefore the law is slacked and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore the wrong, wrong judge, judgment proceedeth. And that's exactly what happens. And then they decide to give this woman a bail reduction. I remember years back, I got locked up for nothing nowhere near like that and gave me a $100,000 bail. But then they give this woman a bail reduction. So this is why we do these videos because we vent because a lot of this stuff has happened to us. How does she have a $75,000 bail, bail from the beginning on attempted murder? She emptied the clip in Jake, right? The Lord wasn't ready for him. Empty the clip in Jake, right? They gave her a $75,000 bail and dropped it to $10,000? I remember seeing the episode where the woman shot up the McDonald's and she was out. I also remember seeing the episode where these two women robbed the, uh, the foreign guy, uh, somebody from another country, flipped his car, stole it, and you know what they brought out? Mental health. You know damn well with a so-called black man, there's nobody bringing up anything about mental health. Although the leaders of the black family, which are the men, more likely have more mental health issues than women and anybody else on this planet. You see what we have to go through? We're not even allowed to be men. You're going to tell me tell it, taking a cat and trying to turn him into a mouse, that cat won't have mental health issues? <laughs> yeah, man, you can't make this stuff up. Hey, that's why this, this man, he's got to go down. And this is why he's going to go down, man. You know, just this demonic behavior. Uh, Proverbs 20, 23, the Lord detests the double standards. This is the NLT. He is not pleased by dishonest scales, right? All this stuff is happening to the children of Israel. And we know the powers that are behind it. People say the powers that be is yes, eat them. See us, we don't got to worry about the platform except having our, you know, information snatched. But for the most part, we're going to tell you like it is. You know, we don't, we're not hiding on any contracts, you know, these manosphere's and everybody sitting up there talking about the woman, but they will never tell you who those powers that be are. They can't do that, but we will tell you, you know, we will tell you it's those wicked elites, you know, that set all this stuff up, man, and push these, these agendas forward. You know, we will tell you that. But these people don't want to say it. That be Diddy, the powers that be. So you can see here, Eve has got a lot of help, you know, in her consumption of wickedness. To move forth the wickedness. She couldn't do it alone. She needed a system behind her. 
She need the media behind her. She needs the uh, social media. She needs TikTok and YouTube. All helping to push the agenda. And then when it goes like a plague, just like when uh, um, the time of Moses, I believe, with Phineas, Phineas, and the Lord said to put the plague out of Israel, and he took the javelin and put it through the woman, through the man and the woman, for worshiping other gods. Yeah, this is why you see the men walking around so soft now, man. And now you got women on YouTube complaining that men aren't tough anymore. Yeah, they have a system helping them break. No wonder they're not tough. Well, don't worry. There's a certain sect of men that will not fall prey to this, and that's the elect. Le Leviticus 19 and 15. You shall do no injustice in court. This is the ESV version. I'm just going through different translations. You should do no justice in court. You should not be partial um, to the poor or defer to the great, but righteousness shall ye judge your neighbor. So at the end of the day, when it comes to the truth, the truth is the truth. But these slick schemers and scammers and in, in, um, the serpent, they'll do anything to break so-called culture, break relationships, break orders, ordinances that are set up, which goes to laws. Yeah, this is what they do. Telling you that, you know, the woman is uh, mentally ill and she needs help. And she, you see that face she had where she looked like she was crying in court. And the judge will have mercy and compassion. But a so-called black man that do the same thing. Nah, that's not going to happen. I have family that literally robbed their disabled son, right, for their money, thousands of dollars, forged information and paychecks, right, had a great government job, right, got food stamps and everything else, stole the money from the state, lied on the application about her job, right, and took her disabled son's money. When he turns 18, she tells the disabled son that that's on you now. I got nothing to do with it. Did you know the state supported that? Yep. He had to go to court and I helped him out. He went to court and got it all straightened out. But did they make her pay anything? Did they lock her up? You know, damn well if a man did that shit, man, a so-called black man did that, stole from his disabled son, right? lied on his application, stole food stamps. He might make eyewitness news. He might be on YouTube, right? He might be all over social media and he'll be deemed as a deadbeat. But not woman, not woman. Women can make excuses of why they need to abort their children, right? It's their body, their choice. But that body that's inside of them is not technically theirs. It's stored there to grow from the seed of the man. But they have a right to abandon, kill their child. They can even, they even open up drop boxes for the woman to drop the baby, right? In those little drop boxes so they can be aborted or passed on and do whatever else they're going to do. A lot of things I can't say in this video what they're doing with those babies. But yeah, they'll do that. But a man who decides to drop out and say, you know what, I don't want to be a father. Well, they're locking him up. They're taking him to child support. If you don't pay child support, they'll lock him up. He'll be deemed as a deadbeat. Somebody tell me how this makes any kind of sense, right? That's why us, we we tell you as prophets, this is why Babylon, America, uh, uh, Babylon the Great, you know, America known as Babylon the Great, Sodom of Egypt, Rome, this is this is why this 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 uh society is going down, man. You know, Proverbs twenty nine twenty seven: an unjust man is an abomination to righteous. Right? We can't say it's all the woman's fault. You know, really, it's the children of Israel we went off, but we could say that these elites, right, as uh, Eve was beguiled by the serpent. Can you imagine being so entitled? 
that you can run in the store, steal, shoot up an avenue. You can steal somebody's car, flip it and turn it. Right? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine shooting somebody, emptying a clip on them, and then you know you might not go to jail for life? I have a good friend of mine in the world. We're not, we haven't talked to each other in years. His wife stabbed him up and left him in the corner to die. She gets locked up, no bail, but six months she's out. She claimed domestic violence and he's the one bleeding in the corner damn near died. You know damn well if a man did that, this would not happen. And the first thing they brought out again, mental illness. So it seems that the woman is the only one have mental illness. That's the excuse. The black man don't have mental illness. All these men that are shooting and robbing and killing and doing all these things, we know they got mental illness, right? As I do in majority of us, right? I think all of us got mental illness, right? There's no excuses made for us. And that's why I wanted to do this video, the vent, so to speak, to show you that um, Ezekiel 9, where it says sign cry for the abominations in the mist. No one of these women can't get right, you know? No one of the children are screwed up, right? From the little children on up, they're entitled, they get excuses made for them, they throw tantrums, and they do whatever the hell they want to do, because that's what this woman did. She threw a tantrum, right? And she always had an excuse. And I always hear these men running around with their little daughters, if they're fathers, because really you can't put the father back in the home. What are they going to do? They don't know nothing about being a father. But the men, they'll make excuses. You know how little girls are. Well, how are they supposed to be? They're not even bringing forth the fact of how they're supposed to live. You know how the little girls are, man. That's what they do. I even got here, God say, man, you know how women are. Of course we know how women are, but there's no correction. So it doesn't help the case. There's no fear. There's no fear. This woman pulled that gun out and emptied the clip. Why? Because she didn't have any fear. These women make these irrational decisions and shoot and kill and do, and do whatever. They'll slice a man's throat. Hell, the one woman sliced the man's penis off. I don't even know if she did any time. <laughs> but if a man mutilated a woman's breast or did something crazy like that, yeah, he would get a long period of time. So we can see the system supports Eve in the wickedness. And when that happens, these Eves don't realize you're screwing your families up. You have no leaders. Anyway, how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Right? So we go to Jeremiah 4 and 30. It says, thy lovers will despise thee. I'm just quoting it. They shall seek thy life. And you'll say, woe is me now. My life is, is pretty much done because of murderers. So anyway, I just wanted to... Um, bring this, these points out um, you know it is what it is we um, we understand you know we understand what this system is what it's about and um, Eve is just used as a weapon right Eve is used as a weapon against us and this is a prime example that's all I have on that Shalom